today is April the 15th, not what I'm talking about, April the 21st, 2015. Uh, yesterday was my first day of my uh, radiation, and um, I have to say it was an experience because uh, when I got there, which my appointment was at 2 o'clock, and they didn't call me in until around 2.30. I mean, not 2.30, around 1.30. Uh, my mind is all mixed up. 3.30. They didn't call me until around 3.30. And so um, by the time I, 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 I was called in, I had drink water. I had went and urinated. I had drink water, urinate, drink water, urinate. So I didn't know how much how much water was in my bladder and your bladder have to be full and uh and it was so interesting because when they took me in the room to 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 get ready to be called in to go and, and get on the table there was about three other guys in there and they always said you are you new you know like i'm the new guy you know and it was it was so interesting uh, being the new guy and the other thing, I had this unusual nervousness. And I was trying to act like I wasn't nervous, you know. And, and, and I can kind of compare it to where when I went into the military, and it was my first day of basic training, I'm trying to act like I'm not nervous, but at the same time, I'm nervous. And it's one of those nervousness that, you know, my body kind of do these little, this little shake, they do they, they little shake, you know. And I try to act like, you know, I'm not nervous, it's, you know, I'm okay, you know, but I was nervous because I didn't know what to expect. And uh, because for one thing is that I had been sitting out in the lobby for an hour and a half past my um, uh, appointment time, and there was other people out there, you know, talking about how, how long they've been going to radiation and what happened to them and da 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 and I'm like, oh. You know, and that's them, that's not me, you know. Um, and so by the time I got back back there where I'm supposed to be going, my head was already full of just a bunch of war stories. And I'm like, you know what, let me take that out of my head, you know. And once they, they put me on the table, I was, I was, uh, I was, my bladder was so full and I was so nervous. I lasted about three minutes, and I had to get off the table. I'm like, uh, I got to go. I got to go. I cannot uh, sit here, I mean, lay here for another second. And so I had to go and, and urinate, and they said, don't empty your bladder. And I'm like, how do you not empty your bladder? Well, I tried not to, and I laid back on the table. And sure enough, I had to go again. I had to go again. And so we tried it again for the third time because you're going to be on the table for like 10 minutes for them to do the radiation. Now, the process of the radiation treatment, I didn't feel anything, but just a little heat. I did feel a little heat uh, on my, down on my pelvis and on my hip on each side, but I didn't really feel anything. The hardest thing is... How do you control your bladder? And I mean, how, how do a person do that? How do you know how much water is in your bladder? That's like driving a car and the gas hand doesn't work. How do you know how much gas you have? You know, you know you put a certain amount of money in your, in your tank and you're driven so far, but you can't, how, how do you calculate that, you know? So anyway, that's what I've, I've got to learn to do. And, and I have to do this for the next nine weeks every day for five days, five days a week for the next nine weeks. So I have a lot to learn about um, controlling how much water I put in my bladder. So anyway, I just want to just, just do this part of the video and and say I'll keep you updated on how this is going, but it is very interesting.
okay uh, I want to do this follow-up video um, on my radiation today is April the 30th 2013 uh, the video that you saw right before this one was my first week of, of radiation and which kind of talked about you know what it was like uh, during my first day and now that I am in week two I feel more comfortable with it and uh, I want to just give you a little more detail and also to show you uh, what the machine looks like you know because in the in, in the video before this I, I was talking about the table land on the table and now you will be able to see exactly what I'm talking about uh, one thing I do want to say is that after three days of radiation um, you know I, I I start to feel nausea like I want to throw up and I think I I started my radiation on a Monday and then on that on last uh, Thursday morning when I woke up I just felt sick I just felt like I just wanted to throw up and it was just all day Thursday so I figured that would go away but it did not so uh, Friday last Friday morning it was the same thing I just felt sick I, I, I didn't want to eat anything even just thinking about food made me sick and so I just contacted my doctor and they prescribed a pill for me and which is it, it's it's a little bit of small pill and you know you can't even see this but it's a little small pill and and I take it now every morning I take two a day uh, because I still feel nausea uh, but you know talking with the doctor the doctor said you know they don't see how this is, is happening from the radiation and and I think he's right because after I thought about it, well then what what I thought about was that when, when I was younger we used to play cards and we didn't have money but we played cards to whoever lose had to drink water and I remember getting real sick you know nausea like I want to throw up and I think that's what it is because I have to drink two twenty ounce ball of, of water about an hour before I have to have my treatment and that's in order to have my uh, bladder flu uh, full when I get ready to go in and, and take my treatment and so what I would do is that I would sit there and in a matter of a couple of minutes I would drink two bottles of water I mean I mean I, I love water that's all I drink is water but that's just sort of like a normal thing I just kind of drink it throughout the day and at night but because of the treatment and I have to have the, this, this 40 ounce of water in my bladder an hour before my treatment I just I just drink it and so now it's like it, it just makes me sick it just it, it I have to eat something now just to try to get the water down uh, even though I'm taking the pill I still have to eat something uh, because I don't I don't want to drink it I do not want to drink it so uh, another thing you know right now I'm having I'm having hot flashes uh, I'm having morning sickness um, like Carla said to me the other day is like these are symptoms like if I was pregnant so you know uh, I can kind of understand what a pregnant woman is going through when they are uh, when they first get, you know, when they first get pregnant, um, and so my whole day is is like that. It's hot flashes, and I want to throw up. If there's food that I just think about, there's food that I I, I, I crave for, and there's food that I think about make me sick. You know, how long this is gonna last, I don't know, but I'm okay with it. Uh, but anyway. Uh, I'm going to take my lapel. What it does, you put it under your tongue and it it dissolves and it, it tastes good. And I, I'm I'm thankful for that. Uh, but I want to show you what 
this machine looks like the, the radiation machine and, and, and what's happening during the process. Because when I first, last week, when I first, on my first day, when I was thinking radiation, I'm thinking there's going to be this, this red beam that I'm going to see is going to come down, is going to be beaming into my body, and, and it was going to be pain. I, I didn't know. I mean, that's why I was so, you know, nervous uh, because of my first day of treatment. But now that I have gone through it for two weeks, I'm more comfortable. I, could, I can control my... my uh, my bladder, not, not my bladder. Is it my bladder? Yeah, my bladder. <laughs> yeah, I can control my bladder more uh, uh, because now I know how much time that I need in order to drink the water uh, before I have to relieve myself. And so, uh, but anyway, take a look at this. Uh, and you'll see how this machine works and, and, and what, what's happening. And also, I'm going to uh, ask for permission from, uh, from the hospital to allow the, the technician to talk about this machine to where uh, they can explain more to what this machine is, is doing because they don't just put you under this table, I mean, put you on this table and turn the machine on and, and just start pushing buttons. I mean, there's a, there's a um, prescription that they have to receive from the doctor that they have to enter into the machine in order for you to receive what you're supposed to receive. I didn't know that, you know, until, um, until yesterday when I was asking questions. But I really want to, to try to get the technician to, to talk about it. But anyway, take a look at this, and, and you will see that I'm not laying on the table screaming and hollering because the radiation is burning me up now. I still got two and a half month, two and a half more months to go, but I don't think I'll be doing that. But anyway, just take a look at this. This is week two.
So I'll see you in the next two weeks.